your sell for me on this report is that you talk about Catherine all the time. Ben and I talk about it a lot. Catherine is a game worth talking about, Brandon Jones. I've and never been privy to one of these conversations about <laughs> Catherine, until now, finally. Mostly behind closed doors. <laughs> Will this Dark be the alleyways. last Catherine conversation? A lot of it devolves into, are you a Catherine with a C or a Catherine with a K hey. person? And then we fight about it. Yeah, I'm definitely a Catherine with a C. I'm a Catherine with a K. Oh. <laughs> I do know what you're talking about. So it's these two women that this guy's stuck between. One is his girlfriend, and one is this new girl that he meets. Just yeah, this I mean, awful individual right? that's trying to ruin this young man's life. No, I mean, she's just as confused as he is, Ben. The, this is a three-year-old so, game? This game? Yeah. How old is it? I, I wish what you old. said was true. When, the, when did this come out, 2010? Two, 2011? 2010. I don't know. It came out a while ago. Yeah. You should have played it. I mean, by basic, now. basic premise. We're talking is, about it, cuz. Uh, it's it's a puzzler, platform puzzler. Uh, there's a main hub area, which is this bar that you frequent with your friends. Great. So. But you play as <laughs> you play as Vincent, and uh, <clears throat> essentially you're kind of in this this stagnated relationship with your girlfriend Catherine with the K, and then one night in the bar hanging out with your buddies, you meet Catherine with the C, the blonde, vivacious, fun, excellent Catherine. Right. Um, <laughs> And then hmm. you spiral out into this affair with her, but then there's this the side story, which is really the main story, that a bunch of young men are dying in their sleep um, inexplicably, and you as the player know it's because they're entering this, this labyrinth dream world that Vincent's going into where he must descend to the top of this tower, or send to the top of this tower every night. I just want to say, that this was made by the Persona team, mm -hmm. and they can't seem to, I love them, clearly, everyone knows yeah. my love of Persona, but they can't seem to make something that doesn't involve homicide no. in some way. <laughs> it's a common theme. And it always comes off as like really, really light and fun, but then it's like murder. Right, right. <laughs> I, I want to say, I really think Vincent is a shithead, like for the most part. Because the, the, the way that this starts out is you're at the coffee shop with Catherine with a K, and mm -hmm. you don't have your life together at all. You're some... You're like a 32-year-old, just like salary... Yeah, you're not going worker. anywhere in your yeah. career. He's clearly irresponsible with money. He doesn't listen to people. He's very selfish. And she is at a point in her life where she like wants to move on. She wants to get married. She wants to be with somebody that has a future. And... When I first heard about this premise, I was captivated because this sort of thing is not talked about in games pretty much ever. And I think it being, games being interactive, it's a really powerful way to kind of explore those subjects about growing up, about what's important to you, about love, about infidelity. Like, all those, th like, we just get killing over and over right. and over again. And... I was so excited to finally play something different. Oh, and there are, there are heavy subjects, especially since because the there are six, eight different endings. You there's, can I think there's six, I think but there's I could six, totally be there's wrong. Like, there's like bad, bad, good, and neutral, and then two for each girl. I think was how it was. Do you, you know what my favorite ending is? What? Do you? Is, <laughs> do you? It's a neutral ending yeah. where you don't end up with either girl. Things go bad both oh, ways. Yeah. And he's just like, you know what? That happened, I'm gonna move on. And he's always he's always been fascinated with space. Oh, and he, he goes to space! He goes to space, <laughs> He gets his yeah. life he's like, I'm gonna do this thing for myself. And he does. So w would you appreciate this game if it was just like a dating sim? If it just had those cutscenes? Like, it, it, uh, does it does it need those puzzles? Like, if you were to add or change anything about this game, what it, would it be? It has a, the social simulation, but what I was gonna say was that it, your choices determine the outcome, which ending you get, obviously. And, but it hits, it's some pretty heavy questions because it's all it's a, it's a romance horror game, so they're all relationship oriented questions. So, I when I played this game, my like then now husband then boyfriend watched me play it, and it oh, was man. like, do you think you know the questions, the questions are like, do you think it's it's acceptable to lie to your partner if it's a white lie? They're that kind of questions, and I wanted to I wanted to skew to the blonde Catherine side because I really wanted him to end up with blonde Catherine, but I also wanted to try to answer honestly and see what my outcome would be. But it's really uncomfortable when your like, significant other is watching you make these <laughs> uncomfortable choices. So, so skewing meaning uh, just the questions. Like, is there a performance thing in the puzzles where it's like, I really want that good ending, but I just I suck at these puzzles. 
It's mostly just the the, the, the puzzles are just a way for you to progress forward. Mm -hmm. And I like I actually uh, there are a lot of people out there that didn't like the puzzle side of it. I did. It just felt like it belonged in a different game. Like the part I cared about was the relationship, was the ongoing story, was the characters, and it felt like the puzzles were just something I had to do to get to that next part. <clears throat> Is there anything mentally to kind of piece together where it's like these are all of the parts of his brain that are weighing him down, oh. and so he's got to climb over them? Or did they ever explain that? His like, psyche is manifested in the puzzles. Because yeah, it's every night, that is good. every <laughs> night you uh, you enter the puzzle world, and it's manifested. So like, there's one, there's one night where he's he's ascending up the tower, and there's a baby, a horrific monstrous baby <laughs> chasing him. Uh, or it gets a little racist. Because she gives than that. Catherine the kid gives you a pregnancy scare, right? She gives you a pregnancy scare. And so trying to trap you. It's this <laughs> demonic baby. It's it's the creepiest looking thing yeah. ever. And it's yeah, it's cool. We all all men get that dream eventually. <laughs> it's gonna hit you men sooner or later. Um but again, like why why not like play Jenga or Tetris instead of actually like climbing something and pull things out and try to like go up a tower like why that as opposed to like other puzzle elements? It's, I mean it's a, it's a pretty singular metaphor where He's, it's his life, right? He's trying to, the different things that you see, like there's one I think where you see like a nightmare version of Catherine McKay. She's mm -hmm. like in a bride she outfit. She's the, it's face. like you're trying to escape, right? right. There's, there's this thing at the bottom that you're afraid of in real life that's represented in demonic form that you're trying to run away from. So that's why it's a- Relationships power. are an uphill battle. Is that basically what we're gathering from yes. this? Yes. Yeah. And the difficulty of the puzzles, like the, the different elements there, you know, because it's Those all- Those puzzles are hard. They get really yeah. difficult, especially depending on what <clears throat> difficulty you're playing on. And they introduce new elements every puzzle. So, you know, um, you can, there are ice blocks that you eventually end up yep. moving and, um... Do we bring you in here just to chat about this game or are you gonna sell it? Do you think somebody should st stop what you're doing and play this game or are you just like, hey, we're I Elise and Ben and we love this game, Well, that's our message? I, I don't love the game. Oh my, I don't the, know if we have time for this, Ben. No, I just, it's a singular condemning thing because the story is so great and you, you see Vincent struggle, you see him trying to choose between like this supposed carefree life with Catherine of the Sea and this more mature adult life with Catherine of the K. And then the story just ruins it because Catherine, spoilers for the end, <laughs> Fair warning, Catherine of the Sea is not a real human being. She's a succubus. She's, succubus. She's a demon from hell. Yeah. And so it feels cheap because you're like, oh, I'm not being, te this isn't my failings as a human being. This is some supernatural thing messing with my mind. And so it sort of robs the legitimacy for me of all those powerful early scenes. But I think I got like the good ending where like you still end up with her. Catherine like, with the... Catherine with the Sea. Like, despite her being a succubus, she still has feelings for you. Yeah, There's... succubuses have feelings. Do they? Yeah, they do, Ben. Maybe? I don't know many personally. <laughs> they do. So you enjoy talking about Catherine more than you enjoy playing Catherine. It's so interesting. It's <laughs> it's a game I love talking about because I can't think of anything else like but it. But that's the thing. There's there's nothing else like it. There's nothing else like and it. And it's it was underrated in its time and it's still underrated. In the in the like You seem to be rating it pretty highly. Evil ending. I mean It just it just gets I don't know, it just appeals to me. In some level. In the the evil in the if you go like as hardcore Catherine of the Sea as you possibly can, you join her in hell. You be, I think you overthrow her father. Yeah. As a demon and, and you're just like the king sitting of there with these horns coming out of your head, and, yeah. and Catherine of the Sea is there, and there are these other succubi with you, and you're like this. It's like a twisted metal in ending. hell. <laughs> it's pretty great. Yeah. Salt.